I'm really struggling with the lighting. I can't like light it properly. Like this is okay. It's a little dark though. I got some things at Mac from a long time ago. It took forever for it to ship and I finally got it in. Maybe was it yesterday? This palette, Mac Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I have mentioned a lot of times before that I consume a lot of Douyin content, which is you know, China's TikTok. I do go on that quite regularly and I see that a lot of times people talk about this little guy. I guess these are some of the shades. So it's NC15, W10, NC20, and W20, pale yellow and pale pink. Now I think the pale yellow and the pale pink are supposed to be some of the correctors. To be honest, I'm a little bit intimidated as to how to use this. I've never really gotten a color correct. I got the one in light. I think that they had maybe another version, maybe a like slightly darker version. And I'm totally, let's say acting, I guess, because I already opened all these items. So they're in the box. I put them back in the box to make it look like I'm opening it. The palette. So it's got a lot of different shades. Now, to be honest, a lot of the shades are pretty close together. So I'm not exactly sure which one I should use on myself. Actually, I don't really know now either. I thought this one initially, but now my skin looks so much darker. Maybe it looks like this one. I feel like maybe my skin kind of looks most like this one. This one seems a little bit orangey. Also, but this lighting is like horrendous. So <laughs> I'm having to do this, but then there's a bunch of shadows. And yeah, these I'm assuming are probably the color correctors. This one definitely is lighter, but these three are all very pretty similar. I think I'm going to maybe try out this one. Okay, I see that. This is probably the worst way to try out a product for the first time, just using my phone as a mirror, but it's happening. I think the color is actually pretty good from what I can see in the camera. We'll do a little bit extra. I don't know, <laughs> I, have to, I have to shade my face a little bit. I think that's okay. And then I'm gonna use this brush. I don't really know where I got this brush, but I like it. It seems like a concealer brush. It's very dense and the bristles are quite short and the whole like shape of it is quite round. So I'm just gonna dab my face and we'll see. Okay, I think I did it, but I can't really tell if it did anything. Should I go even lighter? Cause sometimes I like my concealers to be almost like, like make a huge difference on my face cause I have a lot of shadows going on. I felt like that blended in pretty nicely, but then again, I feel like it might have blended into nothing. <laughs> Let's try using the lighter one. Let's see. Can't see. Did I put anything on? <laughs> All right, I think that worked a little bit better. Like it definitely brightened up my face now. Basically, I ended up using a lot more of this color than this color. One thing that I really like about this palette though is that it definitely seems like a little bit more lighter coverage. It seems light because I had to go in with my fingers multiple times and apply, which I actually really like doing. I have the Natasha Denona one and that one I really do like because all you do is just like dab like a few dots and that's enough to cover like all over like your whole the whole panda eye situation like all over here and um i mean that one's nice for like a one and done thing but if you want to kind of build stuff up gradually i think that this was really nice to use i mean i would have thought me being like the lazy person that i am to want to have like a one and done product this one i do really like because i was able to mix and match like i first started with this one then realized like maybe i should move to this one because i'm looking for something brightening and then uh i used some of the uh i think this one as well because i have a tiny little spot here i am very excited to keep using this i did really like the idea of building it up it's buildable it seems fun it's like bringing me back to like kindergarten you can like mix match colors very cool and i'm just gonna swatch i'm not gonna swatch all six 
Do you guys care? Hopefully not. So that's the lighter one. Ooh, it looks a lot more pink on camera. Very, very white and pink. Okay, you see that one? I think, yeah, I think that one's actually is pretty true to my natural skin color. I guess you can kind of see it's blending into my skin. So the next product that I have is the very super popular MAC Melba Powder Blush. I don't, I'm not well versed in understanding color. So as far as I could tell, this is pink. <laughs> it's pink with maybe a little bit of, I mean, it's not bubblegum pink, but it's like, it's a little bit like terracotta-y red. I don't know <laughs> how to describe colors. This is a super popular one. I thought I'd try it out. I am also really bad at applying blush and bronzer. I don't really know how to do it. So I'm going to attempt my best at doing this. I have a, oh, it's a blusher brush from H&M. Got a long time ago. Oh wow, it already picked up a lot of product. Okay, so a lot of product are actually dispersed on that. Like I barely touched it, okay. And then I'm going to apply it the Douyin way and maybe not the Western way. I feel like the Western way, the trend is to do it like kind of here. Like a lot of people talk about doing it like on the higher points to just make your face look a little bit more lifted. A lot of times on Douyin, they do it right below the iris. Okay, that applied a lot more than I thought it would. Also, I'm super bad at blush, so I don't even know how to do this. I feel like that looks terrible on me. <laughs> this is like one of the very few times I've ever worn blush, and I've never been able, able to figure out how to, how to wear it. Okay, I think that was a little bit better. I think I just applied way too much product and I think I just have to blend it out a little bit, but still, I don't know, blush on me just looks wacko without any makeup. So like adding blush is just like, oh my gosh, it just looks like someone like slapped me across the face. <laughs> Maybe if I blend it out enough, it'll, it'll work. Cause to be honest, it's, I just feel dumb. And this is not like, a knock at the product. This is just me. I never wear blush. I thought I'd try because Mac Melba has a reputation as being a good blush. I've heard about it for years. It's on their best sellers, so I thought I'd try it. Okay, so I think that's a little bit more manageable. I'm scared to try it on the other side, but we'll try. Initially, when I dipped my brush in this, I dipped it like a couple times, so let's see if, what if we do it like once? Maybe twice. That seems okay. It's pigment pickup than last time. Still looks like a lot, actually. Did a better job on this side than this side because I went lighter hand and I used a lot less product. So that might just be me. I didn't realize how much pigment that this had. True to color on the skin. It does look exactly the color on the cheeks. So yeah, you know what? I. I like it, I guess. Let's just finish the eyes. We're just gonna do some lash curling and some mascara. Just Sado. I actually think I got this in Japan when I was there. I thought it'd be cheaper there. I'm actually not sure about that claim, but I did get it. Wow, I actually curled my eyelashes really well today. Can you see? <laughs> I don't know, usually I'm like pretty awful at them. Like there's always like a piece at the end that just like sticks straight, but the, I think all of them, pretty curled today. The mascara that I'm gonna use is the Too Faced, Too Faced, Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know, it's a mini size. I got this in uh, the little Sephora favorites, I think like years ago. Uh, I'm still using it. I know I should throw it away, but hey, hey now. I don't really like the brush though. It's one of these like all over the place brushes, but I do like the way that looks on, on the lashes. So that's nice. But I don't really like how it, it goes. It's kind of very subtle, but it's like an hourglass shape. And I don't like that because I feel like that uh, indent in the hourglass is uh, is like hard to use because I feel like my eyelashes just can't reach it. <laughs> Your lashes look very fluttery and nice. Okay, cool. There's a reason why I have that around after having it for like a year. So the last thing, these, well, they're actually kind of they're not a set. I did not buy them like together, but they are basically the same item. So they are the 
other super popular MAC items. They are the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and I have the color Lightscape and Soft and Gentle. Again, I put them in the box even though uh, I already opened it. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, so the box, you can see, it's closed, right? There's, there's no opening at all on it. And then the, here's the blush. The bl blush looks perfect. It looks brand new, looks great. And then here is the container. The container is not all covered. It actually has this like hole in the middle. So when I bought it, the blush was sitting inside. I opened it, blush looked perfect, looked great, looked fine. But then I get to these guys and I don't know what's happening in their warehouse. So I get this, I open it, looks like this, it's fine. But on closer inspection, my camera is not gonna be able to pick it up, but on the plasticky top front, it's like there's scratches. I don't, you probably can't see it at all, but there's like scratches on it. And I'm just like, oh, well that's, that's weird. It's not like it got scratched by something else, like rubbing against the box because it's inside this covered box. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle one. The box is also kind of, when I opened it, the box looked like this. I think it might've, maybe these tabs were closed in, but the box lid was open. Also, it's like slightly indented here as well, which I'm fine with, like things get knocked around in shipping, but if things get knocked around in shipping, I don't know why it would apply to the product itself. Now this one also has the scratches on the top of it. And it's, you probably can't see it, but it's actually worse than the previous one. It's worse than this one. It has like quite a lot of scratches on it compared to this one. Did somebody return this and then I'm getting their return item? I am not sure. You know what? I think I would be more upset if I liked the product. I swatched it already and I don't think I really like either of these. I think that they're supposed to be highlighters and I am just like, I don't understand why. There is no, nothing really highlighter -y about it. Okay, you know what? This, this time it actually swatched a little bit better, but you can kind of see it here. But it's nothing really to write home about. Like, I think I have a couple of other highlighters that also are very nice and do a very similar thing. You know what? I actually like it. <laughs> uh, I swatched it yesterday and I didn't like it at all because I felt like it looked so flat. But now I'm actually seeing some of the shimmer. I don't know, we'll apply it later. The other one, the lightscape one, which is the lighter one. Okay, so I didn't, I don't know if I really swatched it that well, but it's right here. Here's the lightscape one. Here is the soft and gentle one. Both of them look a little bit better than how I swatched them yesterday, but maybe my opinions still stand. I still feel like they're not enough. It's not highlighter-y enough compared to my other highlighters. It falls maybe a little bit flat, which is good because I kind of wanted to return it because I didn't like all the scuffing on the package. So if I also don't like the product, then that might be a little bit better. What I've actually been recently doing is actually applying highlighter to my eyelids. And then we're just gonna apply it to the eyes. I like to apply it to my nose. So we'll do that very subtly. And why not? Let's just also do it on the inner corner. The lightscape, yeah, it's it's the exact same thing on the eyes. I'm just not really getting much of anything. It's supposed to be a highlighter, but all I'm really getting is just white kind of powder. Like there is maybe the most subtle, subtle shimmer, but it's just, I don't think it's just, you know, enough. I don't think it's doing as much as I would hope. As far as soft and gentle, I do like this one more than lightscape. However, it still doesn't excite me. It still doesn't stand out amongst some of my other highlighters that I like a lot better. They are so difficult to open. Like this is the MAC packaging that I usually associate with MAC. Really basic, not, not too much. And uh, how you open it is that they have this little notch in the container. This is actually maybe their like updated one. I have nails, but if I didn't have nails, I could not open this for the life of me. There is no indentation in the package. If you say to me, I could not use my fingernails, I don't think I could get this open. I'm trying to get it open. Okay. Okay, there we go. Wait, it's magnetic, so it closed on me again. Okay, 
now I got open. So it's it's definitely a struggle to get open. But luckily I have nails. So what I do is I kind of like put one of my nails and like try to jam it into the into in between the two pieces. And it's magnetic too, so I have to apply a little bit more pressure, and that's how I get it open. But man. If you have like a manicure, bye bye to your manicure. If you have just difficulty in, in using your fingers, and this is just not a package that's very suitable. Do you like the other two products that I got? This one, I do like, but again, I'm not a blush person, so I'll use it if I need blush, but I don't see myself using it all the time. But it's nice to at least have like one or two blushes in, in your collection. MAC concealer palette I really do like so I'm gonna keep using this and yeah I'm gonna keep playing around with all the colors I'm gonna find my perfect you know combination and color color palette that will work for me yeah so those are all the MAC products that I bought and I guess that kind of finishes the makeup look I didn't really apply any lip products but that's fine I'll apply it in my own time yeah I'm going to leave it there bye you want to see some cool stuff that I got? Uh, I'm going to maybe introduce some Asian snackos. I go to a, in Chinatown, I think I go to a grocery store. Well, I don't know why I said I think. I definitely go to a grocery store and I buy a lot of my uh, favorite snacks there. These two, I think are both Chinese. But this first one, hopefully it's not making too much noise. But this first one, these are like, these are Rice Krispies basically but they are hella better than regular Rice Krispies. Like that one, I think Rice Krispie is a brand name, the one in the blue package. But these ones are so much better. But I'm not, actually not gonna open this cause I'm not gonna eat it right now. But um, yeah, they're basically Rice Krispies, but Rice Krispies, I feel like are a little bit denser, like the brand name Rice Krispies, not these ones. They're a little bit denser and they're a little hard cause sometimes they've been sitting on the aisle for like months probably. This one, so much better. It is always, like light and airy and it just tastes so much better because it doesn't taste as sweet and you know i i like sweet things but that one the rice krispies man they got a weird taste going on this i don't know what these are called they just kind of look like this one they have a collection of them i think that there's also maybe like i don't actually know the other flavors but this one's my favorite of the flavors is it salted egg it could be salted egg but they're they're sweet it's not savory but uh yeah as you can see i already ate like all of them i only have like three left and yeah maybe you can read some of that i i don't think i can uh but they are very good i highly recommend the other one this is also pretty good they're actually called baked chili flavor cookies they're they're not chili flavor i don't know why it says that it have a slight little bit of sweetness to it and yeah, they kind of look like this. It kind of looks like a little Cinnabon that's like squished into a cracker. This is what it looks like. It's a little, okay, this is a broken one, but this is it. It's a hard little cracker. I don't know. I feel like this might be polarizing, not polarizing. I just feel like not many people are going to like it, but I personally like it because it's, I don't think I would label this as sweet, but it has a subtle little bit of sweetness to it, which I do like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Don't just get like the typical high chews or anything or like the Hello Pandas or what's the other one? There's a Hello Panda and then there's the Happy March. The, the one with the koala? Yeah, don't get those. Those are actually kind of boring to me at this point. So stuff to check out if you're at the Asian grocery store. That's it, That's I, I thought I'd share and uh, yeah, bye.